Another day. Another day. How much did you guys need this? How much did you need that celebration over there? We needed it big time. I mean, a lot of adversity throughout the last couple of weeks and the whole week, this whole week, we said we we're starting over. And we're saying the rest of the games, we're playing for Tali. And when we put it together, offense and defense and special teams, this is the ball club we expect it, expect it to be like plus more. It seemed like when good things happen, you guys gained steam from it and continue to add to it as the game went on. Did you sense that you guys were doing that as it was happening? Yes, you sir. Were just layering stuff? Yes, sir, 100%, 100% our defense. <coughs> We came out there, offense did their thing, and then the defense rallied behind us, and you see, you saw what happened. And they came up to me, they were like, just, just play ball, just play the ball, you know how to play, and we, we got you. And so that was in my mindset, that was in the back of my head. And plus, I wore a wristband with a cross on my uh, wrist, and then 13, and I'd look down, and time I got hit, I'd look down, and I'd be like, I'm getting back up for you. And that's just something that just means, Tyler means a lot for this team, and he can do a lot for us as we continue to move forward, and we continue to play the ball, he would want us to play. You were holding your ribs one of those times for a little bit. Was that one of those moments where you're holding your ribs a little bit? You're like 100 percent. And everyone has their own battles, and mine just happens to be my ribs. And I'm just going to continue to fight through that. And my line did a wonderful job, zero sacks for today. And I just told them we play like this. Who can stop us? Seems like the completion to JJ at the end of the half was just a big one for you guys. Then going to halftime, 24 six. Yes, sir, that was a big one. I last couple of weeks I missed a couple of deep balls that I wish I could have back and I told JJ as we we're moving forward, I was like, I'm giving him a chance. It was like just, just throw it up, I'm gonna go get it. And I've been with him since he first stepped into college. We've had this connection and it just displayed today. Put it all on display today. What in the world got into him on the run after the catch? He looked like Jamar Chase. I mean that's I haven't seen that sort of Burst and slick, you know, moves from JJ ever, maybe. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm out there, I throw him the ball, and I get turned around, and all of a sudden I hear our, our fans screaming. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's going, he's going. And so I wouldn't say a surprise does. JJ's he's an excellent player, he's a motor guy, and when he had a chance, he took it to the house. You talk about the first one, the little, yes, sir. The little jailbreak screen. Yeah. Yes, sir. From, from your point of view, how would you critique Jamari Ritzy's run? Mm -hmm. look kind of like a tight end, he got his hands on the ball one time. <laughs> Coach Brown kind of made a joke, because JJ typically sometimes, he kind of looks like he's running a little slow. He goes, I look out there, I see Ritzy get a pick. He was like, for a second, I thought it was JJ. Yeah. <laughs> and we all just got a good laugh at it. But, I mean, heck of a play by him, man. I mean, that that really had us had us going moving forward in the second half. I mean, we wanted to play fast first first two quarters and come out swinging like we did today, and he, he did his thing. Did you he made a few moves too. Uh, uh, he, he, he did well with his moves. We did did you see his well. stiff arm? Calandria came over and he, he switched hands and shifted the ball. And he didn't quite get him, but he was ready to get him. He, 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 he was hiding him. Yeah, he showed some ball skills. Yes, sir. Jacoby, did you feel the offense was maybe starting to figure itself out the last few games? I know they didn't materialize in wins, but did you feel that it was like on the cusp of, you know, potentially doing something similar to what you guys did today? Yes, sir, 100%. And as a player, when things aren't going good, I point, I point fingers at myself. And the last few weeks when I don't create a turnover, we do pretty well. And for me, it's making sure the ball, making sure we're moving and change each possession that we get. And that's just something we really did from an offensive standpoint <clears throat> today. And then from your perspective, too, this week in practice, I know you guys had that bye week already. Did you feel anything was kind of different this week from your perspective as far as the energy or anything like that? I feel like we had a sense of urgency, you know. I mean, we have five games left, and we want to finish. We want to finish the way we said we were going to finish out the season, and that was make sure we come to every game 100% prepared and 100% high motor. And when we look at the, when we look back at the game, we don't want to blame ourselves. And so I felt like the guys they really stood to what they said as the week kept going, and things happened the way they were meant to happen today. It looks Hopefully, like I, I know you don't play defense, but. Just the effect of a fully healthy Cayman Rucker for your guys as a team and a defense. I mean, what does he mean when he is turning it loose like he was today, just for the overall group out there for those guys? Yes, sir. You have a voice out there whenever he's 100% healthy and out there playing. And a voice on each side of the ball is it's what, what you need. And when things aren't going bad, you can hear his voice from all the way across. And that's just the type of guy he is. That's the type of player that we need for our football team. And when he's healthy, 
you get you get a little bit of it all. You yeah. get a guy that's going to perform out there on the field, and then on the sideline, you're going to you mess up. He's, he's going to say something, and that's just what we needed today. And he did, he did exactly that. So you're saying, yeah, if you've got the iPad or whatever over there in between series, you can you can even be looking down and hear. You know whose voice it is. One hundred percent. It looks like you're getting more comfortable rolling and throwing. And I, it almost seemed like you kind of went through that evolution some today during the course of the game. What is your comfort level when you're rolling out and you're able to see the field and make some of the throws now? Oh, yeah, so that's just, like I said weeks ago, I got to go back to the ball player I am. And beginning of the weeks, I would say I was more of a trying to throw the ball a lot more. And I used my feet on both today. I used my feet while rolling out the pocket. I ran and I passed the ball. And that's just something I have to bring to the team. And I'd say I'm super comfortable with it, just having my eyes down field. Everyone's cover just take off, and I displayed that today, and it worked out for us. I think there was one play you found Colliver over mm -hmm. the middle, and he did a nice job, I guess, getting free. But you saw him. Did you always see the receivers when you were rolling before? Have you seen them more clearly now? It appears that a play like that would be an example where maybe you're just getting a lot more comfortable and seeing more clearly. Yes, sir, 100%. The game has slowed down tremendously for me, and today. Actually, when I threw him the ball, I had my eyes looking right at Kobe Paysire, I believe who it was, because they had a nickel defender, and so I had to use my eyes so he can jump out there and create a lane for Chris Culliver. And I feel like the game's slowing down and everything's just coming back to me the way, it, the way I once played. All right. Thanks, Kobe. Thanks, Kobe. Thank you, Kobe.